Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can set up and start streaming on uh, Streamlabs. So let's get right into it. I'm using this official live stream setup guide on the Streamlabs site and you can check it out for any other tips. But firstly, uh, I'll be covering how to set everything up. Of course, you do need to have an account and set up everything on the platforms you are streaming on. And then you need to have the application, but that sort of goes uh, without saying. But let's start with the setups. Firstly, you need to go into settings in general to set up the streaming parameters, such as the resolution and the quality. And you need to go into video first and set everything up, such as the base canvas resolution, which is your native device resolution, and also the output resolution, which is your uh, desired output resolution that you're going to be streaming in. You can set this to 720p, which is 1280 by 720, or you can set it up to 1080, which I forgot. I think it's uh, 1920 by 1080. Yep. And you can set everything up here as well as the FPS and the uh, bit rate, which you can set up in other parts of the settings in output. I'm pretty sure uh, you need to select the uh, adequate bit rate for your stream, which is uh, defined by your upload speed. So you need to make sure you do a speed test to check your upload speed and then set the actual bit rate to the desired one. And then that is pretty much it. Uh, you also need to choose your encoder such as software, which is uh, x264 or hardware encoders and to encode videos on your CPU you need to use the software encoder, uh, but uh, the advantage of a, har a hardware encoder is a dedicated encoder, encoder in the GPU, which you can also use. You also need to set up the CPU usage settings under settings and output, and there are several, or several presets such as X264, which is how fast the CPU encodes your videos. The default is very fast, which is the ideal balance of performance and quality if you want your stream to be good enough. And you can also set up dynamic bitrate and other things, but those settings are pretty much uh, dependent on your wishes. These are the settings sort of uh, presets and the adequate options that you need for each of these uh, streaming qualities, which are 1080, 60 FPS, 1080, 30, 10, uh, 720, uh, 60, and 720, 30. So you need to make sure that all these settings are correct. You also need to enter all your widgets that you want to use and all the general settings and everything. But after you're done with everything, uh, once you've set everything up at the bottom right of your application, you will see uh, this here. Uh, button, which I'll try to zoom in on. And as you can see in the bottom right, you have this go live button, which you need to click. And then you need to confirm which platforms you'll be streaming on after connecting your accounts to Streamlabs. And then once you click go live, you will be live and everything should be good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.